Thank you, Alison, and good morning, everyone. So we'll not take uh, uh, too much time uh, from you because uh, we are all uh, uh, looking forward to working in groups or uh, on the amazing challenges. But uh, just briefly, uh, uh, for you to know how we can support the longevity uh, uh, space or longevity ecosystem. So we prepared a couple of slides and uh, explanation. So uh, three years ago when I uh, uh, founded uh, Longevity Tech Fund, uh, it was a, uh, there was a one clear reason for that. So it was my realization that there is a, a huge lack of uh, early stage capital in this space to support uh, early stage startups, and because I'm a lifelong entrepreneur, <laughs> I was really feeling the, the struggling of the, the, these founders and uh, this, especially this transition between the great scientific ideas and uh, you know the, the some business traction. Um, so uh, this was the main reason for Longevity Tech Fund, but the focus is very clear. Uh, so all the uh, science and technologies which could, uh, you know, prolong our healthy and active human life and has the ability to become massively affordable. That's a clear, clear condition what, what we do. Um, so for the past two and a half years, we invested uh, to approximately 40 companies in these three, uh, let's say, clusters. So you can see... There is a diagnostics, uh, including the AI and uh, all that kind of supporting technologies. This is because we believe that we need to measure what we want to improve the first. So this is more our highest priority. So focus on uh, aging biomarkers is obviously on, on the top. Uh, then we have therapeutics or therapies. So you know all of that, all of that amazing stuff uh, you do. And then we have a third cluster, which we call Longevity Catalyst. So uh, companies or uh, organizations which are enabling others to do and to move, to move forward. So that's our investment, investment thesis. And by the way, uh, we, we, are, we mostly invested uh, our first fund and we are now raising a second fund. So we believe that uh, we will be able to support much more companies in the close future, hopefully the additional 30 or 40 companies in the next uh, three years. But uh, we don't just invest in companies. We also uh, create, uh, the, you know, we call it ecosystem, longevity ecosystem of companies. It's basically because of, uh, of some gaps we see in this space. So, I mean, gaps like uh, the, 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 the pieces of the puzzle, uh, which are important for further development uh, on this transition from science to, you know, everyone for everyone to be able to use that uh, amazing science and uh, be healthy and live longer. So you can see these six companies, and we will give you a very brief uh, description what they what they do, and we would love to see any you know, questions or uh, maybe uh, ask for collaborations, because we are open for collaborations, so the ecosystem should be, a, should be enabler it's not like an independent business behaving somewhere. So we, we would like to cooperate. So I'd like to ask Jyoti to provide the explanation of the, the first one. And yeah, before I go on to discuss the company, I would like to thank Alison. It's, an, it's been an amazing session so far. And I'm a big fan of Alison. So yeah, we, uh, as we see, we come across companies pretty much every day and we look at new technologies, it's an exciting field to be in. Uh, but we also identified a few gaps that we feel need to be filled in and we discussed one of those gaps yesterday in terms of extracellular matrix that Joe mentioned. And there are several such gaps that exist we are aware of. And so what we decided to do is instead of just investing in companies to go backwards one step and start investing in or rather creating these startups ourselves. So what we went on to do is to create a company called Longevity Builders. And this is a slide I don't need to go into because yes, it talks about valley of deaths that exist and which are often discussed. 
So the two valleys of death that people discuss often is lack of appropriate funding for late stage clinical stage companies, because yes, we have a lot of uh, enthusiasm from early stage VCs, mid stage VCs that go all the way up to series B probably. And then we also have a lot of interest from angel investors. What we don't have today is big ticket investors that can support clinical trials. I think Kristen Fortney is changing that landscape and I've spoken to a lot of uh, uh, pharma companies in this uh, process, and all of them tell me that they have uh, resources on the ground monitoring the field. They're all waiting for one success story. We haven't done well in that. So our thought process was, if we go backwards and cre increase the size of the funnel, then just trying to find investments at the later stage, maybe we can fill the gap better. So that's why we initiated this one called the Longevity Builders Initiative. It's a picks and shovels company, a venture builder. I see most of the VCs are also doing the same thing. I think it's a very welcome move in the industry. The other thing we're doing is uh, building the Healthy Longevity Cafe, uh, sorry, the clinic that I'll explain a little later, or maybe Peter will explain a little later. So, um, so what's Longevity Builders? So we have built, uh, over the last six months, we've built an extensive network with the University Tech Transfer Offices accelerators, and also we have several in-house projects in collaboration with some of our um, portfolio companies, and we are actively seeking projects as well. So if you have an exciting project that you want to work with us on, you're welcome to discuss with us. And then we want to take this and we want to provide end-to-end -end support to these companies, starting from, say, filing the patents, e including the logistics of building the company. Not all of all the founders would know how to deal with a bunch of lawyers or a bunch of company formation material. We're willing to help in that. And we have an exemplary set of uh, advisory board. I can, we are building it as we speak, and I would be happy to disclose in a um, couple of weeks that we, it would all go up on the website. And so these would be the, actually not just advisors on the paper, these would be active advisors. So if you have a problem that you want to discuss with somebody who's um, spent years and decades in the field and want to have expert advice, we would be, they would be happy to provide. So in a nutshell, this is one way we want to contribute to the field. And I'm actively looking for people to work with me on this. If you are interested, I can define uh, the investment or the thesis that we have around it. And so we welcome projects and proposals. You want to talk about the clinic? Go ahead. Yeah, so the next one is uh, the Healthy Longevity Clinic. So what we understand is because of the constraints that exist in the United States today in terms of regulation and regulatory landscape, uh, most of the companies will have to focus on a proxy disease. I haven't so far heard any company talk about aging as the, of course, one company, one was an exception, maybe because the people involved in that company did have the uh, uh, maybe wherewithal to say, we're going to be uh, therapy indication agnostic. We're going to focus on aging itself, and maybe we would, at the end of the day, come up with uh, an indication that we would focus on. But did they get the funding? They had to struggle, despite being who they are. I'm not going to talk name names, but then despite being who they are, they had to struggle and approach a lot of VCs. The VC mentality is a little bit different. It's changing, but then it's not, we're still not there yet to support that kind of uh, um, an effort. So what we're trying to do here in building a clinic is we are trying to build a clinic in, uh, say, Singapore, for example, with Brian's help. We are trying to build a, a clinic. Uh, we have a clinic in Prague, and we are building a clinic in the Bahamas. So all these would be an opportunity for most of our portfolio companies and also companies outside of the portfolio who want to have aging as a primary indication and not have some proxy disease, and then which the indication might do well, might not do well. So this is one effort that we're initiating in-house now, and uh, happy to discuss the details of this with anyone who might be interested. Slides are also yeah, so do we will see the more details on the on the next slide. So basically, uh, we are about to start uh, several clinical trials uh, really soon this, this 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 summer, and we hope to to support a lot of our portfolio companies in this way. And at the same time, we actually uh, invite the you know the high net worth individuals to participate, so we bring more money into the uh, ecosystem. 
So let's uh, just to make it short. Uh, uh, let me just quickly describe the rest of these uh, ecosystem companies. But uh, what uh, you will clearly see that the first four builders clinic and uh, the other one is a guide and the cafe, they are like on the chain of going down from the you know the top science and the narrow focus on a, you know just a few people through the through the the broader portfolio of uh, uh, of uh, uh, people uh, working with physicians or so the health and longevity guide is a platform, is a B2B platform for physicians, it's an educational platform, but uh, eventually we want this to be a, a way how we can interact with physicians around the world and even, and even uh, make them, uh, allow them to participate in our effort and even do some larger clinical trials. So to provide people with guidance, uh, with solutions, and bring something back to the, to the science. So that the guide, it's a company already on market, uh, having more than 1,000 physicians subscribe for the platform. Um, and you are welcome to subscribe. You know, the, the level of information articles there and education, it's certainly between the, the you know, the, the science papers are too complex for physicians, but other, the other, other part of the education or the articles available on the internet are, are focused on general population, which is too general. Uh, so this is in something in between. Uh, and the last piece of this picture is called Health Synology the Cafe, which is going to be a kind of a massive uh, platform uh, for regular uh, people, uh, you know, where they can visit specific place, uh, get uh, uh, kind of a simplified level of diagnostics, uh, get uh, optimized personalized food supplements, and obviously, again, we can work with them and plug, in, plug them into the ecosystem and even allow them to participate in some, uh, some of our uh, efforts. And the rest of the uh, ecosystem companies, uh, uh, Health Longevity Global, uh, is solving the gap in uh, longevity product distribution and logistics. You know, if you are somewhere in the world, it's hard to, 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 to buy you know, some specific uh, diagnostics or test uh, oversee or even uh, uh, buy supplements which are the best because uh, the, the regulations, because the logistic complexity, all of that stuff. So the global is specialized company with a mission to make uh, longevity products accessible anywhere, anytime. Uh, and the last company, Health and Longevity Data, is all about the, the data infrastructure. Uh, below, so uh, starting from uh, data gathering, uh, standardization, even open access, uh, um, uh, going through the, the, the analytics, uh, data interpretation, management, uh, physician uh, client communication, up to the way of maybe some some uh, more advanced uh, analytics methods, including the the, the causal uh, aging trees and all all of that stuff. So we are trying to concentrate some current activities under one umbrella and, and uh, give it to like a larger funding so well, it, can, it, can, it can, let's say, accelerate the effort and support. The, not just, you know, this is not to support all companies, this is to support all the others in this, in this field. So that's a, the raw picture, and as I said, we are welcoming the, any, any questions uh, later on through the day or uh, any collaboration. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, just maybe for one question, what is it, one, let's say, an undervalued area that you see that you want to draw people's attention to? Is there a specific one where you like, this is one we're particularly interested in? Yeah, so uh, we are so we are looking at several such areas, not just not one. For example, we are. Uh, I have seen only two companies so far, uh, Revel and uh, Elastrin uh, Therapeutics in the field of uh, ECM. And the other areas, we have mapped out quite a few. The other one that I could talk about is uh, one of the um, uh, favorites of John Ebert, which is uh, actually how do you deliver uh, maybe molecules, small molecules, or uh, peptides, or cells into the compartment called the brain compartment. 
So that's another one we are actively working on. We do have a few leads. So we, are, we welcome companies that are being formed in that. Either whatever stage they are in, we're willing to fund them, of course, with due diligence. And then we are also trying to build companies around that. We are discussing with a couple of universities right now to actively build companies in that area. So we have mapped out quite a few of these gaps that we see because we come across companies every day, as I said earlier. And the other thing I want to use this platform is I'm looking for hiring an associate in the fund, somebody who could help me. I work as a group chief science officer, and I do want somebody to support me in this uh, logistics and also in the due diligence process. So I don't, I'm not necessarily looking for a PhD, but I'm looking for anybody who has interest in uh, the longevity field and who wants to be part of a VC and be excited about look, learning something new every day, not just a couple of things, but quite a few things every day, and meet these exemplary founders that we come across. Do you want to add anything? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Any questions, comments?